Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of the Overtime page. I'm Ariana Martinez. As you can see, Edgar isn't with us today, and that is because he's still trying to recuperate from all the partying over Mexico's Gold Cup victory. But joining us today is, our, is one of our top's finest reporters, Roberto Guerra. It's been a while since we last reached out to you, but here we are once again to bring you the latest in UH sports, local sports, and international. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, because top starts now. U of H sporting events are long gone, but that doesn't mean there is news to tell. Beginning with softball, former Kruger pitcher Donna Bourgeau has signed to play professionally for the Chicago Banders of the National Pro Fastball Pitch League. The league begins today, Saturday, July 2nd, and for those of you who are like me and didn't know there was a prof professional softball league, you can visit their website at www.profastballpitch.com. Houston Mayor Anise Parker and the Houston City Council Member James G. Uh, Rodriguez each recently designated a day to honor the accomplishments of the Houston women's basketball team during the 2010-2011 uh, campaign. If you don't remember, the Cougars won the CUSA regular season title after going undefeated and advanced to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2004. Moving on to local sports, the Astros are hosting the Red Sox for some inner league action. Boston took the first game of a three-game series, 7-5. Astros pitcher Bud Norris was able to hold down the one run that Boston delivered on the first inning until the seventh, when a strong Boston shook Norris and the Astros spent for six runs. The Astros unable to come back and the score remains 7-5 Boston. The Houston Dynamo will play their last road game tomorrow, July 3rd, at Dick Sporting Goods Park versus the Colorado Rapids. Kickoff time is at 8 p.m. The Dynamo are coming from a two-game winless streak. Their last match ended in a 2-2 tie against D.C. United. After tomorrow's match, the Dynamo will have three consecutively home games. First up will be Toronto FC. Maria Sharapova making a comeback at this year's Wimbledon the Championships. But unfortunately for her, Petrova Kvitova from Czech Republic was right there to stop that from happening. Kvitova defeated Sharapova in two sets, 6-3, 6-4. This is the first Grand Slam title for the Petra Kvitova, the last time that Maria won at Wimbledon was seven years ago in 2004. Tomorrow, Novak Djokovic will play Rafael Nadal for the title. Yesterday was the first game of the Copa America. Argentina faced Bolivia to a 1-1 tie in, at Ciudad de la Plata, Argentina. Edivaldo Rojas scored for Bolivia and Sergio Aguero scored for Argentina. Today's match will be between Colombia and Costa Rica, while tomorrow Group B will have their first match begin. This has been all for now. Remember to tune into the OvertimePage.com for the latest on local and international sports. I'm Ariana Martinez. And I'm Robert Guerrero. Enjoy your baseball, enjoy your tennis, enjoy your soccer, enjoy life.